There's nothing better than a coffee in the morning. A lot of people have asked me how I control my audio inside of LumaFusion and how I control the music file inside of LumaFusion. How do I get the music to go smoothly up and down as I'm talking inside a video? That's exactly what we're going to talk about today. So let's go into LumaFusion and I'm going to show you an example and how easy you can do this before you actually start your project. But before we go into LumaFusion, I want to say that it's only three days left of the giveaway. So if you want a chance to win a LumaFusion app by LumaTouch, that comes with 10 months of free Storyblocks usage, my transition packs, or two of my transition packs, and a drone. There's only one guy winning the drone, uh, but if you want a chance to win these, there is a link in the description below. Make sure to check that one out. So let's jump into LumaFusion and I'm going to show you how you control your audio. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use the project that I was working on yesterday, which is the video that I uploaded yesterday as well. So go check that one out if you haven't checked it out yet. So as you can see in this video, there's a lot of, lot, lot of space between the first layer of sound. That sound is the sound from me talking. You don't want to keyframe all of the music layers below uh, because it will take forever. You can do it, but it's not going to be that smooth. And as you can see, there's a lot of space between the cuts here. There's a lot of space when I'm not talking and I want the music file or the music to be louder and I want it to go automatically so I don't have to keyframe anything. So what we can start with is go into project settings and inside of project settings you see dock start time, dock start duration, dock end time and dock end duration and you also see dock volume and dock threshold. These settings is some settings that I found browsing through the forums on, I can't remember which site it was, it might have been on LumaFusion's forums or LumaTouch forums, but these settings are really recommended as I'm using these settings constantly and it's so easy to use. So make sure to copy these settings if you want a smooth transition from your music going up and down as you talk in the video. So once you change the docking settings, let's take a look at the first music track. And as we double tap on that music track, we go into configuration and the audio and you see that this configuration is set to auto. The docking is set to auto and this is because I don't want the music to be the main audio file and I want it to go automatically and I also want my voice to control the music. And if we go out and we go over to a sound file where I am talking and click on configuration, you see that this is set to master. You can go into every single audio clip that you have and change these settings, but there is an easier way. So I have two examples. Let's go to the first clip and configuration and you see it's set to master. The next thing you could do is you tap on this little icon down here and you could copy the settings. And then you can go to the next clip and you can simply tap on clip on bottom right and then you can tap on paste. If you tap on paste, all the settings will be applied to this clip as well. And you can move over to the next clip and the next and the next and keep pasting these settings that you just copied. And another thing which is really recommended to speed up your workflow is to apply the clip that you want to use first, the entire clip, uncut it, and then you go into edit and you go to configuration on the audio and then you tap on master. So that means the entire clip will be uh, the master of the sound and will control everything that you put to auto. So after you're done with this, the next thing you do when you apply all your sound files is to go into the sound file, then go to configuration under audio and then you put the docking to auto. That means the master will be your sound and your sound will control the music. So meaning if you have gaps inside your clip, or inside your project like I have in this project everything will be controlled by the master volume so if you have gaps the music will increase towards the end of the file that you are talking in so at the end here I will give you some examples on how this work in reality 
Let's move over to the last text. We're simply going to take the two layers that we just made and drag it out of sight and then clone one of them. Then we're going to drag it underneath the one pixel line that we just made. Then we're going to go into edit and we're going to type a desired name. In this example, I'm going to type by Rob HK. Then we go back into edit and we go to frame and fit again and we do the exact same thing. We adjust frame by frame until we have placed it at the same position as the other two text layers that we just made. A lot of people is actually keyframing the music file and that just takes an unnecessary amount of time. This is a really good example on how you can speed up your workflow and how you can make your project increase in quality because you don't have to do anything. The only thing you have to do is to apply master and auto to your sound files and LumaFusion will take care of the rest. So that's everything for this video. If you want to buy my transition packs or have trouble with them, uh, or consider buying them. I have a Selfie page running now. It's easier because you can mass import all the effects. You don't have to import one by one. You get a link from Selfie and you tap on the three dots as I mentioned in a tutorial before and then you open the entire zip file into LumaFusion and you get every single transition added right away. So that's also a tip. So if you don't want to waste time on importing one by one you can simply buy them on selfie or get the free ones and you can mass import them easily so that's everything for this video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up if you didn't like it thumbs down make sure to smash that notification bell and consider subscribing to my channel and i'll see you in the next video peace